and then all of a sudden the bus shows up the 11. i mean 11 is my lucky number after all actually this is my favorite 100 percent my favorite and korea being you know between japan taiwan china all very like buddhist taoist confucianist countries um and korea is this kind of outlier hello everybody today we're going on a field trip outside of Gyeongju to visit the Bulguksa temple i'm very excited to go to this temple because i think in korea one thing i realized is oh my god it is so christian here in seoul i think i saw one buddhist temple the entire time i was there and so I'm very excited to go see this one just because it looks very beautiful, it looks very sacred, and I think it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I'm just excited to go check that out and see what it's going to be like. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my god, I just walked to the wrong bus stop. I had to go over there. The thing that makes me anxious about catching the bus here is there is no like time estimate like it just kind of I think it just kind of shows up when it shows up and I know how it feels to like live like that and it's not fun so let's get to the bus stop <laughs> there's the bus stop so what's really crazy is when I arrived at the bus stop on the monitor there were actual times for buses that were coming and the 11 bus wasn't even there so I thought like okay the bus just isn't running or something and i was about to catch a different bus to just go to some other random place and then all of a sudden the bus shows up the 11. i mean 11 is my lucky number after all so i've just arrived and i didn't realize that it would be like this like little kind of town so the temple's up there but I'm hungry right now, so maybe let's take a walk around town and then and then we'll see the temple. What's standing out to me so much is every single building has this roof on the top. So it all like conforms to the traditional style buildings. Which, oh, it's just really, really cool to see that. Got some gimbap because it is one of my favorite things to eat. It is not only usually cheap, it's healthy in contrast to a lot of foods you can have, and it's always delicious. This is a bulgogi, bulgogi and kimbap. So many cars going in like every direction here and I just did not realize how much of a tourist vibe this place would have like okay okay anyways that must mean that it's definitely well maintained and things like that too so yeah but we're outside I think we have to get tickets to go in okay and and here is a guide for the area which it's huge so the site was completed in 774 Well, there was a ticket office it turns out that the admission was free so i don't know if it's always free but it was free today and uh nothing nothing is better than free um okay maybe maybe this pond here is better than free it's beautiful so i found this little path where there's literally no one i don't know why no one's up here but I came here because there's no one. <laughs> so we just walked through here. We literally just made it to the entrance. You see that red dot right there? I was just oh, closing my umbrella and something stung me so hard. Oh my God, it hurts. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're just like swelling up and all red. Yo, that hurts. I just want to take a moment to say, thank goodness I am not allergic to bees or wasps or anything. Because that would really ruin this day. Wow, it's so beautiful inside. These gorgeous lanterns, the, the lo lotus lanterns. Wow. Look 
at all these little kids' drawings of the temple and Buddha. Oh my god, he's got a lot of fish! Sea life! So cute! I think one of my favorites is this one. Like, this is really well done. Buddha, Buddha looks pretty ripped. <laughs> Actually, this is my favorite. 100% my favorite. After coming to the more southern destinations of Korea, I've started to see that Buddhism is much more prominent. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do realize in my time in Seoul, I only saw one, one active temple in Seoul. There, that mean, there must be more, but I was there for a whole month. And I've noticed a lot more, you know, like Buddhist centers, especially in Gyeongju, um, Cheonju. Um, still, you know, many crosses. Um, it's still very Christian, but I have notice it seems to exist a lot more down here of course there's nothing wrong with being christian i just think it's very interesting having been to you know many countries in asia and you know seeing buddhism taoism and confucianism really interlaced within some societies and korea being you know between japan taiwan china all very like buddhist taoist confucianist countries um and Korea is this kind of outlier, you know, like I, it's nice to see Buddhism being practiced here, especially at this temple, but I will say I don't really see it being practiced much like throughout the country, especially in contrast to Christianity. Um, there's nothing wrong with being Christian. I just think that it's really interesting to see like, because it just stands out to me so much in comparison to other places I've been. And I'm also, this just makes me really curious about the history of, you know, religion in Korea and how it changed to becoming so Christian, which I just do my like online research because I, I am a curious person. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're going to leave the temple. It's definitely worth visiting much more touristy than I expected it to be, despite yes, it is a Sunday, but still, wow, lots of people. And I think we're going to go to the legit night market, uh, the Gyeongju um, traditional market, which has some delicious looking night market foods. This is the traditional Jungju market. So on the inside, you can see everything is like closed right now. Um, they sell a bunch of clothes here. There's food, like literally, just, there's just rows and rows and rows of stuff. But right now, we're gonna go to the area where there's activity because they have a night market as well. Oh my God! Look at that. day and a fun video to make i i made it into my bed and i mean i haven't done the things i need to do to actually go to bed but yeah i honestly almost forgot to shot this shot to shoot this ending of the video today was very cool it was very fun it was very long i don't know i don't really have that many more comments on it because honestly i'm just so brain dead right now Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have, I really appreciate it. Definitely go visit the Bulguksa. Pulguks, is it Pulguksa? Pulguksa. Uh, temple. Totally worth it. Check out the traditional market as well. Oh my gosh, the food there is just really delicious. And they even have like those little, these like little trays so you can go like to, to different stalls and get stuff from them. I mean, it definitely is probably a good thing to do with friends, not just one person, but yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching you guys and I will see you in our next, our next destination and next videos. Peace.